Men, listen up. Today we're talking about my top 12 most alluring men's fragrances. Scents that really draw people into you. They're all sort of hypnotic in a way. Very sensual, very inviting, and also incredibly impressive. We have a bunch of hidden gems in this list for all different budgets. The perfect addition for your fall and winter rotation. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with a new fragrance that I've mentioned once or twice on my channel before, but it was a recent discovery for me and just an obsession, you guys. A true obsession. This one is called Big Ben from Oscar London. I think that the packaging is pretty cool too. It has a nice magnetic cap on the top. One of my current favorites in my entire collection. I'm not kidding. This is one that I have been wearing almost nonstop, especially as we're transitioning more into the fall weather. And that being said, this one is perfectly unisex if not leaning a little bit masculine, but those are the types of scents that I prefer to wear for myself anyway. At the heart of this fragrance, it is a rose oud. Super elegant, but at the same time, there are so many amazing notes just surrounding it. There's bergamot and hazelnut with Bulgarian rose, with hyrax, red fruits, rum, patchouli, tobacco and woods, and black pepper. The way that this fragrance opens is absolutely incredible. Literally, it's just as good as the notes sound. It feels exotic, but incredibly elegant at the same time. And that is not the easiest thing to pull off. So boozy, but very, very smooth at the same time. Combined with this almost like slight kind of suede leatheriness in that tobacco, it just really adds to the spice of this scent. It really just has every single alluring note on the planet. You can find it in Big Ben. It's so sexy. There's so much sensuality in this fragrance. It really packs a punch, but at the same time, it is incredibly head turning. And on top of it all, easily 12 plus hour performance. This thing is, of course, as you could guess, a total beast. It is a must try if you love rose oud fragrances and you want something with a very alluring and sensual twist. This one is Big Ben from Oscar London. And next up, we have a fragrance that is a hidden gem from the house of Zerzhov. This is Zafiro. One of the best, if not the very best, frankincense fragrances on the market today. Fresh, aromatic, resins with that frankincense and elemi. It's citrusy and bright. There is a really great contrast between this bright citrus and this very slightly smoky incense. It's really not too much and it doesn't overpower the scent. There's cinnamon and cardamom with some iris and carnation and woods, a little bit floral. It's a very like rounded fragrance and it has also this kind of like honey-like sweetness too. Incredibly dressy, very fresh and balsamic. This was made to be an homage to Rome. Also incredibly strong. And once again, I want to reiterate, incredibly easy to wear. A total hidden gem from Zerzhov. Not a lot of people talk about this, but it definitely deserves some spotlight, Sephiro. So next up, we have Caban from YSL. Finally, you guys, finally I have this in my collection. I have been wanting this for so long and I recently pulled the trigger when I was at Duty Free the other day in London. I finally have it. It kind of has a semi-similar vibe to Zafiro, but it's not as exotic feeling. It's a little bit sweeter. There's no smokiness in here, but it does have that nice elemi and frankincense with black and pink pepper. There's tonka bean and sandalwood and patchouli. The tonka bean is going to bring a nice dose of balancing sweetness. It has this creamy, like super creamy sandalwood with this green patchouli. It is so gorgeous. It's more of like a toned down type of scent, which in my opinion, just kind of adds to the elegance of it. So sophisticated. It's like a man in a suit and tie. Very attractive and pleasant. And it is a sleeper from YSL. If you see this when you're out sniffing around next time in department stores, you need to try this one. Beautifully blended. It's a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have Cayenne Classic from All Botania. And this is an amazing, amazing chibi. It smells literally 10 times more expensive than it is. It's this rich, deep, creamy, like super, super creamy orris with some rose and jasmine with this also very creamy orange and citrus. It kind of gives off a little bit of this kind of like orange creamsicle vibe. Like it's so creamy, but at the same time, it's not too much. Like it's not really 
what I would say a gourmand, but that orange does really shine through in this scent. Maybe some like semi gourmand elements mixed with this really creamy, very sophisticated dressy iris. A little bit of vanilla too, and this one is also a beast. Perfect for a date night scent. So hypnotic to the people around you. And also very affordable. It's a must try if you love iris fragrances. And could also be the perfect fall signature. Delicious and very refined. Cayenne Classic from Albatania. So next we have a signature worthy vanilla. This is Vanilla Oud from Virtus. It is a vanilla that it's not too sweet. It has more of a deep, dark character to it. A dark vanilla, more of like an vanilla extract fragrance. It definitely leans masculine. There's saffron and oud with cashmere wood, which of course I love. And some sweeter notes like vanilla caramel. There's apple in here with a little bit of rhubarb too, which makes it interesting. It really makes it stand out from like the rest of these like basic vanillas because it adds a bit of this kind of very slight kind of like tart sharpness, kind of contrasting against the sweeter notes. It's woody and spicy and a touch floral. I totally stand behind the hype of this. It is really, really good. I've seen so many people talking about this and it is definitely worth the hype. It feels very grown up and definitely not your typical vanilla. And you can find this one over on Max Aroma. It's where I got my bottle from. They graciously sent this over to me and you can save 10% with the code Erica10. Get on their email list because they have amazing sales on the weekends. Next up, we have Gris Charnel Extrait from BDK. The heartthrob from BDK. Literally heaven in a bottle. This is like a sexy edible chai tea latte with a lot of spice. It has fig and some creamy sandalwood and tonka bean. It's definitely denser and more gourmand leaning than the Eau de Parfum, which is a little bit more like an emphasis on the florals. It kind of comes off a bit vegetal. This kind of takes that element out of it and makes it just denser, better for the cooler weather. There is a nice greenness to this scent with the vetiver. There's iris and patchouli. It is the perfect warm and spicy, very snuggly, like cozy, comforting fragrance for like a rainy day, you know, like snuggled up with a book, reading by the fireplace. It's just so comforting. And the cardamom in this fragrance brings all of the allure. It has really earned its place in the community and it's an icon from BDK. Something incredibly unique as well and will be in my collection for life. We have a newer release from the House of Supers. This is Aura, a newer release that really deserves your attention. This has a very interesting note breakdown. There's blackberry and musk with sandalwood and pear with pink pepper, praline and oud with some cardamom and jasmine. This fragrance has such an extreme wow factor to it. Seriously, I don't know why I haven't spoken about this one yet on my channel. It is so incredibly unique, like literally entirely unique and especially unique in the Supers catalog. That blackberry note in here is so pronounced and just so distinguishable. It's really crazy. Like I have never smelled anything like this, but it's not blackberry in like a super fruity, sweet way. It's like a dark kind of jammy blackberry. It's very spicy, very woody, a nice spice sandalwood. It's musky, the cardamom is so sexy with this kind of sprinkle of pink pepper. It is a bit fruity, but still very dark and incredibly, I can't say it enough, sexy and unique nighttime fragrance for the cooler weather and the praline in here. You guys know how I feel about praline. It's so attractive, so addictive. I absolutely adore the house of supers. That's why I recommend them all the time. I think that they are very affordable and very unique beast mode scents. And if you're interested in trying Aura or any of their fragrances, including samples, you can use the code Erica10 to save 10% off their website. Trust me, if you want something insanely unique, you need to try Aura. So we have another cheapie here. This is Nitro White from Dumont Paris. I think that as we're moving into fall, I think Nitro White is getting more attention. You know, Nitro Red was the talk of the summer, but this is the one that you wanna pull out for the cooler weather. It's honey and vanilla with a balsamic myrrh, and it has this kind of sparkling fresh opening from Juniper with cypress and iris, but it still has a really big dose of a nice sweetness, like all of the fragrances in the Nitro line. But there is a little touch of leather in this. I really like how Nitro white develops over time. It kind of goes from being 
like having more of a sweeter personality to something a little bit more dark and mysterious, like a very like mysterious character while still holding on to that classic DNA. It is a great cheapie for the fall. And honestly, it's probably my favorite from the Nitro line. Like this one is really, really good. So we're gonna talk about La Nuit de l'Homme Eau de Parfum next. Shake things up a little. I always, always, always talk about the Eau de Toilette, but I recently added this to my collection and I do really like it as well. This has that classic lavender and cardamom combination, but with leather. And this also has a really nice, bright, very tart grapefruit in the top. And the lavender comes off very clean in the scent and very loud, like super, super loud. It's not really quite the same as it is in the Eau de Toilette because it also has a really big dose of clary sage along with that creamy sandalwood, but you can perceive that very classic, iconic Len Wiedelam DNA in here, but shaken up a bit more, a little bit more modern, a little bit more fresh and citrusy. Not as much emphasis on the cardamom in this though. There's a dry vetiver in the base. It's Len Wiedelam, but fresher, brighter, and longer lasting. If you want something new, try the Eau de Parfum. Next up, we have Oud Symphony from Precious Liquid. This is a true love for me. Like if you ask me what are the top 10 fragrances in my collection that are my absolute favorite, this is 100% going to be in the top 10. This, in my opinion, is a masterpiece. This is a boozy oud with passion fruit and a really nice jammy black currant. Very very, very jammy, kind of like a passion fruit pisco sour in a very refined way. This has jasmine and rose and frankincense also with a beautiful honey note. I'm so particular when it comes to honey, but it's so good in here. And a very big dose of patchouli to really tie it all together. It's earthy, but tropical and dark at the same time. It has a very uplifting fruitiness, but this kind of honey, Thick booziness is what is so alluring about this and very enticing and also very heavenly. I love this perfume, you guys. Like, I love this perfume. And once again, insanely unique and also a compliment magnet. This is another one that every single time I wear it, I get a compliment and it also lasts forever, completely beast mode. If you want something very artistic, but wearable and very likable to those around you, try Oud Symphony. I've been talking about this one forever. Trust me, you need to try this. Next, we have Boss Bottled Absolute. This is a newer release that I really fell in love with. This is incense and leather with melting myrrh and a sweet divana. This has a really inviting sweetness with this kind of like boozy like texture, like smoothness and texture. It's a really nice green patchouli and Devana combination. I love the semi-smoky incense. It's so masculine with a light spice too. And I like this because the incense is something different, but it's not churchy, too smoky, very balsamic and sweet while not being too sweet. It's very, very balanced. Amazing release for the fall for 2024. It is a must try. I hated the Boss Bottled Elixir, but this is amazing. And last, on the note of boozy fragrances, we have Royal Bourbon from Plume Impressions. This is one of the most if not the most unique boozy fragrance in my entire collection. This has a very vibrant, sweet licorice note with a sweet caramel and vanilla balanced with some spices like black pepper and cinnamon and ginger, all infused with this gorgeous rum note. And the licorice is just so different, truly head turning. I know I've said that about a few of these, which is true for all of them, but especially for Royal Bourbon, it's boozy, it's sweet, it's spicy. It has all the elements to be a top release. Light was in the base. It's undeniable, like truly. You just can't stop smelling it, which is the definition of alluring. Perfectly unisex, it feels like the holidays. It's very festive and happy and fun. And there is nothing that you can compare this to. Really, it's one of a kind. Very niche and artistic feeling while still being very wearable and enjoyable. It has been an addiction for me. I love it. And you can find this one over on So Advent Guard and you can save 10% with the code ODERICA10. Wow, I just can't, I can't get over this one, you guys. <sighs> I can't believe I waited so long to discover this house. It's really, it's crazy to me. But guys, that was just my top 12 most alluring fragrances for the fall. 
you cannot go wrong with any of these, honestly. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below. What is your favorite fragrance for the fall? I would love to know what you think. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.